What's happening everybody? Hope you guys are having a good day and hope you guys uh, all got real lucky this season. Uh, unfortunately for me, didn't get so lucky. Had a few mishaps happen and just work on the way. But in this video, it's going to be a real short and quick one. Just for the fact, A, I don't have my tripod. B, I don't have my camera. I'm, this is off my phone. And C, um, I haven't tested it. I haven't done anything, but uh, I picked up uh, something pretty sweet. Uh, what you guys, or what some people, I should say, uh, misunderstand in regards to hunting gear or just look beyond hunting gear uh, is a solid backpack. Now, <clears throat> this one here, long story short, I bought it off a buddy of mine when I was helping him move. I didn't. I haven't fully bought it yet. Um, I'm doing. Going to be doing some work for them. Knocked off a lot of money. Then also throw them a case of beer just because that's how things work down here. But uh, yeah, no. So right now this is a the Tenzing TZ 5000. Uh, as you guys can see, it's literally brand new. I just took it out of the box right now, which the box is right there. Now, excuse the mess, it's kind of a work in progress in this room. It's kind of, I don't even know. Girlfriend came back from vacation. Her suitcases are in here. This backpack's in here because it's too big to go anywhere else and so on and so on. So carrying on, um, from the data on the box, just because I haven't looked into it or used it, it is a total of 5,620 cubic inches. They say it weighs seven pounds, five ounces. Uh, meat compartment is 24 by 11 and a half by five and a half. And main compartment is 26 inches by 11 and a half by eight. Um, let's see, hip, four inches by nine by 12. Top compartment, fanny pack area. What is that? Nine inch by eleven by three inch. Mesh compartment is eight inch by five inch by two and a half inches. Now, from just what I've been seeing off these backpacks, they say, especially around the waist and the torso, or anywhere around the torso and the waist where you'll clip in, it's totally adjustable. Uh, on this thing, hell, you got. I haven't even really looked at it, but you got countless number. Uh, freaking pockets here um like it's honestly incredible like i it kind of worked out perfect because uh, my buddy was planning on doing some out west backcountry hunting never got around to it and he's not going to be doing it so for me i actually planned on doing a kind of like backcountry for as much as i possibly can in canada a backcountry uh bow hunt hopefully a week or at least five uh, four or five days or something maybe even just a weekend so this bag will come in handy big time uh, as i got some pretty big plans coming up for the 2020 uh bow season excuse if it sounds funny or whatnot i'm just a little slightly under weather but yeah no this is the real tree max t i believe it is oh max one and first impressions this pack is solid it i think it actually weighs slightly more than the seven pounds whatever ounces they say i'd probably say it's more so around 10 but uh all things considering it looks 100 percent solid uh i was always thinking about buying one of these but i can never afford one just because jeez uh, i think the last time i checked for just a TZ 2200 was about like three four hundred dollars so I can just imagine what the TZ 5000 costs and it I can already tell it's outrageous but uh yeah no I'm excited to get this in uh for my upcoming hunts hopefully I'm trying really hard to get an elk bear and uh a few other I know elk and bear are the two I'm really going to try for Deer, that's a given. May even try to enter the draw soon enough to get a doe tag. 
just because the past couple of years I've been getting a lot closer to does than what I have in bucks because bucks are just a lot smarter I believe than what does are um but yeah so I figured I'd just throw in a little update video it's been a while since I posted anything and it's kind of hunting related as it's a hunting pack so at the very end of the video I'll put uh the specs on the side of the sheet or on the side of the box for you guys and uh let you guys look at it and see if it's something you guys like all right guys well thanks for tuning in like i said it's a short video a little rant update whatever you want to call it uh if you guys enjoyed this video hit that like button leave a comment down in the comment section and if you guys don't mind hit that subscribe button as you guys have been killing the subscribe button Yes, I'm saying killing it, because, but it's only 10 subscribers. A lot of people think, oh, well, that's not enough. Oh, this is that or this, that, whatever. Well, consider I was at like six or something, and in a matter of like a couple days, I got four. That's a huge thing for me. I appreciate that. So if you guys liked it, hit that like button. Leave a comment in the comment section. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Stay up to date with all my new uploads. And uh, while you're at it, go search me up on uh, Instagram as I always post there first. That's at Tied Off Ball Hunter. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.